everyone welcome back to another video um i'm gonna do a little news today um it was on reddit and then the monitor said hey we think this is real because some people were saying it was false and it's about a gun store in Al albuquerque it's called shooter's den address 2729 san mateo boulevard albuquerque anyway this guy Oh, and by the way, they had horrible reviews. They got a four-star total, but you go on, and it sounds exactly like what this guy said. So let me cut over. This gun shop seized a guy's P80. Um, I legally bought and bailed a P80 handgun, and I was going to buy some mags for it at a local gun store. And he asked me to show him my firearm. Thinking nothing of it, I went to my car and came back with it, and then he took it, said he was filing a report to the ATF. I live in New Mexico. It's completely legal here. I'm not sure what to do. Now, lots of people called the cops or people were saying it's fake. Um, I guess the cops, he waited like two hours. Cops still weren't there. They said they would deal with it later. Um, the store closed down. And now you can't just take someone's gun. Can't do it. I mean, he could call the ATF. The ATF would probably, I don't even know if they'd even do anything about it since it's legal to build a 80% there. Um, now, if he handed it to the guy to do work, a, a lot of places actually require serial numbers. So even, I know a couple of years ago, well, when the ban happened recently, they uh, said, you know, no one can work on anything without numbers. So they got to put numbers on to work on it. I don't know how that stood up. So people that do customization, do you have numbers on your guns? Or will you touch a 80 without a number? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But this guy was just buying mags. He handed it to him. And the dude just took the gun. Um, I would consider that theft. I think that place should probably be shut down if he really did that. They have horrible reviews for ammo or the guy price gouging or just a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm looking for some updates. But yeah, everyone just said, call the cops, call the cops, and just nothing would happen. It's on Reddit under the Polymer 80 stories. It was posted a couple days ago. Um... Anyone in New Mexico, I want to support a place like that. Um, if you guys can share this story, share it on your YouTube, share it on social medias, let's get this known. The owner has stupid remarks on all the Google reviews for people who gave him a bad review, of course, instead of owning up. You just tell it's one of those gun shops where you're just a FUD, most likely, and nothing matters. We have one of those here in town. Everywhere else is pretty good, but this one place, like, only their shit don't stink. They're the only ones that is a gun shop, but really there's more. So anyway, guys, I can't make this up. New Mexico gun owner, and I'm pretty sure it's the owner. It's, it's a little shop. <clears throat> the guy says, you didn't speak to the owner in the reviews, but it's the owner responding. It's, it's probably him. So anyway, guys. I'll update this if there's more, like if we hear about a police report or anything like that, we'll update and I'll let you know more on it. But please share. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.